How much do you make as a TV extra in Sydney? Now, I made a video before expressing the sentiment of my clients can't save and buy a property because that's the truth in Sydney. You really need a second income. Some people were suggesting get a better paying job or grow the fuck up because you seriously need a second income to increase your borrowing capacity. Some said it's easier said than done. So what second income can you suggest? So I called up my client who was an agency for background extras and she showed me the ropes of getting a second income as a background extra. Obviously, I'm a very busy mortgage broker and I'm only driving 20 minutes to the TV production set just to make this TikTok to show you guys. First, I had to sign in, fill in my tax file details so I can get paid and I had to do a rat test on the spot and I had to put makeup on me and put on a costume. Notice those pink eyebrows? I was playing a gay Asian businessman and that is the cast for a new Netflix show coming to Netflix in August. To tell you the truth, being an extra is cool. Breakfast is free, lunch is free, delicious and dinner is also free. After a couple of weeks, I got paid. For two days of work, on his agent fees, $435. After my stint as a gay Asian businessman, I landed a role as an Asian business banker at NAB. I got paid $1,800 for that. Then for another commercial, I was an Asian Uber driver. I only did this for a couple of months, about a dozen gigs, and $5,933. Now tell me, would you do it?